Welcome back to Vitalis Principle. I'm Dear Darling and who are we? What is our purpose? Why don't we answer these questions together as Rejoice, we have done? Child, World 7. Rejoice. You have fulfilled all your tasks in this land. Really? You have conquered all its guardians and solved all its mysteries. What about this one? And what about the stars? You are appointed its master. Ooh. And so you've got a star here. With it as you will. I'm going to destroy it all. I'm going to burn it down. I wonder if I want to have a quick sort of cursory glance back in previous levels to see if we can find the star. I mean, we might as well. In World 1. I have promised you eternal life. Yeah. But know that eternity may only be attained by those who serve a purpose greater than themselves. Okay. All else is decay. So it was Are you threatening me? In the hidden words before the beginning of time. Now I'm doing this, I'm like, we should we should totally give a star to the end. <laughs> I don't really fancy going back through all these levels, which I still kind of remember. <laughs> and trying to find a, a hidden star, potentially, around the place. Why don't we just move on to the next one? See what other levels we got. Um, see what we got left to find. I'm surprised there's a, a, a blocked off thing over here. You know, I don't really know what that's about. It certainly seems like a hidden world, and I don't know why the creator, Elohim, is hiding it from us. A sort of star thing. Oh, interesting. I, I assume this must be getting all the stars in one world, maybe? We, we obviously can't use this because we don't have any of those um blocks. I wonder what the red ones are for. I just haven't discovered our use yet. So, okay, we're, we're done with the stars uh, with World A for now. As it appears so. Um, we do have stars still to get, which I probably will try and figure out how to get. Um later on we'll come back and revisit I don't know how hard it's going to be to find the stars in the first place of our location as I often say before you know I've talked about this ad nauseum in witness I don't care too much for ex to seeking them out but I like solving the puzzles of once I find once I know where they are what's this door over here can we get up there I don't know I also hear a beeping terminal console where is it what is this what's this what's this Da, 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 da. But, but the terminal console's through here. I, I guess it's just meant to be environmental storytelling or something. Seems like a, a very large and empty world, this place is. Only inhabited by us. A lonely existence, one might say. Hello, terminal. Let's get this mouse out of here. Athena 12. The Council of Zeus. The great bronze bulls pulled my carriage forward, mighty bursts of steam issuing from their nostrils. Finally, they came to the gates at the top of a... Use the dot set. Here, assembled, were over many generations of the gods, and demigods, and souls of mortals. Steel and bronze and iron, and the memory of flesh. The clouds parted far beneath, revealing the beautiful plains of Macedon, where great gleaming cities had once... Were once 536, of course. It's a, just a slang term for, I don't know, stood. Prof. Dr. Armin Hulock. Hulock? I don't think we know them. Hulockian. Oh, no. He must use Tumblr. The fall of a Roman Empire, a dialectic dialectical approach. Homo sum humani nihil a me alienum puto. Alienum, I don't know. But interesting, as such perspectives of a decline and ultimate dissolution of a Roman Empire may be, they ultimately put too much emphasis on individual catastrophic events. The real question that must be asked is why the Roman Empire, which had dealt with so many threats and catastrophes over the years, was so incapable of responding to these later problems. We must investigate the division of the wealth, the structure of the government, the location of power in Roman society. Had the Republic survived or been restored, would Rome still have fallen? What was the role of debt and slavery in creating the conditions for what we now call the Dark Age? Rome, the saying goes, was not built in a day. It didn't fall in a day either. To register for the class, please email me. Hmm. We've got some sort of, um... What's the word? Like a, a summary for a class. So sort of like a splash note. Splash notes? Spark notes. So there's Ivory Tower, which we won't be climbing yet. We will be going on to World B, I suppose, because we, we've got to listen to what Adaheim says. Is it me or is it a, a little bit more dim now? Seven worlds, okay, I see, of each B place. Hello. Another list. Oxy... Oxy... Oxyrhynchus? 
The great irony of Oxyrhynchus papyri is that such a vital source of information about the ancient world exists only because of a garbage dump, or the Library of Alexandria burned up hands of fanatics and conquerors, depriving us of unimaginable insights into history, philosophy and art, the papers carelessly thrown away by the citizens of Oxyrhynchus survive to the modern day. And though it is true that a great deal of what we know today is because of the con conscious efforts of individual and organisations, such as the spectacular translation and preservation work done during the Islamic Golden Age, and much more is simply the result of coincident uh, coincidence and luck. We've lost tests that the ancient con ancients considered to be absolutely essential, or utterly trivial, even plagiarised, work has survived unharmed. <coughs> so if we want our descendants to remember more than glittering emo vampires and auto-tuned teen pop stars, we have to invest in make sure that... I mean, I get where you're coming from, but that's a very sort of cynical view, isn't it? <laughs> the Book of Scribe of Osiris, sometimes also referred to as Book of a Journey to Aru, is an ancient Egyptian text discovered of the ex excavation of Oxyrhynchus. It's caused a certain degree of controversy among Egypto <laughs> Egyptologists, and some argue that it is classical funerary, f funerary text, such as a book of coming forth by day, while others believe it to be a poetic work not intended to be understood li literally. The book tells of a story of a dying man who asks a scribe about the afterlife. I wonder what the scribe had to say. The scribe, a servant of Osiris, describes how the man's car, life force, will become separated from his bar, personality, and how he will reunite the two and become Ak, not Baka. <laughs> <laughs> Living intellect, well, I suppose that's the opposite of back, isn't it? Passing a series of trials in Duat Underworld in order to reach the paradise of Aru. Unlike similar tests, oh, text, the Book of Scribes of Osiris focuses less on giving advice or, or what? A recent study, Karnahan Hassan, suggests that the text may have been intended as a philosophical commentary on the world of a living through allegory of the Duat. It remains unclear whether this was the intent of the original pre, pre exile pre-Alexandrian author, a result of a later translation into Greek. The earlier manuscript, which is considered to be more authentic, is too fragmentary to provide answers, but perhaps further excavation may. Well, I suppose a lot of this lore that we're getting is also quite fragmentary, so, you know, I guess there's a parallel we can draw there. Uh, let's use this. See what pieces we got together. We gotta put the pieces all together, because that's the puzzle. I don't have many lyrics to this song. That's it. <laughs> Oh, with the LPs. I was looking at them. I thought I thought they were all T pieces. I was like, this looks kind of impossible. <laughs> it is not. Well, it is not yet impossible. Yeah, this will solve it. Just had to just had to sort of run the simulations through my mind. Wasn't this very similar to the puzzle that we used to escape A? Isn't it the exact same puzzle almost? Either way, we'll descend downwards. See if there's any A visual difference stands before in World B. More puzzles? I know that this is a land of death. Death? But also great beauty. As you walk amongst these tombs, consider <clears throat> all oh. those who came before you and how they served the greater purpose the land of, of death. which you are also part. So we, we stepped out from the Roman world, the ancient Romans, into ancient Egypt, it seems. Or was it ancient Greek? The last thing we did, none, I can't remember. I don't know my history, okay? I'm sorry. What is this? Is that a computer terminal? It's a play button. It's a video recorder. I see. Um, it's got new mechanics. Don't really know what's going on with that. All of these are yellow. Interesting. I don't know what that's got to say about the world. Is it just more difficult? Seeing as there anything interesting. Not I can see. Hello, QR code. I'm finally getting some sense of an entity in the archive, though at some cost to my sanity, I'm beginning to think that Elheim wields no more control over the world than we do. Oh, that's scary. Tell me something, do you always do as you're told? Yes, no, am I obliged to answer that question? Sure. I only ask because I couldn't help notice the stash of brightly col coloured knickknacks you're collecting. Don't you think that it's a mite odd that the big voice in the sky keeps telling you to find these do doodads, yet forbidding you to use them to climb the great big town in the middle of it all? You're testing me, I must resist the tower's temptation, I'll climb it when I'm good and ready. Okay, when we have nothing else to do. Okay, no need to get huffy. You'd be amazed how many just do as they're told without stopping to think for themselves. I think whatever, that should be probably a robot voice. But maybe you're different. Then again, maybe you're exactly the same. Maybe everyone climbs a tower, and the only way to win is to stay down here with immortals. Do you really think so? Nope. In fact, I'm all in favour of you poking about up there. If only to see what you find. Maybe must be something juicy if it's forbidden by his highness. Then again, maybe not. I'll be off then. Just wanted to drop in and run a little interference. Whatever you do, do take care. Your bigger problems have a voice in the clouds. You don't like to say his name, do you? Terminating support session. Done. 
Elaheim, Elaheim, Elaheim. It's like saying Bloody Mary in a spread into a mirror. Original translation by what's this Osiris? E. A. Watterson Budge. Annotations by swear words apparently. The dying man went on to describe, who resided in Promedjed, and said, Behold, oh sorry, note one, it's likely the location was changed according to the copy of a book who, who was, was made for. The dying man is Avatar Viona. Behold, I am weak of body, and my days under the holy son of Amun Ra. Note, in the old manuscript, this is rendered as some contro controversy as to whether it. Are coming to an end, though I have spent many years in the service of two lands, I have not studied a. Tell me, you are who are wise in the writings of the dead. What lies ahead on my journey? What will I face in the land of the westerners? Free. The dead. Compare with Kenti Amentiu, the foremost of, of the westerners, a title later given to Cyrus, and the scribe spoke saying, at the appointed time, you, 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 sometimes five, mistaken for mistranslations, translation on Budge's part this is actually almost certainly a mistranslation by the ancient scribe the equivalent portion of an older manuscript is sadly not extant got it lyrics lyrics you were singing a song cannot load video fired 24 million views my new song and lyrics gotta laugh about this stuff laughter is the best medicine lol i've got it you've got it he's got it she's got it mummy has got it daddy's got it <laughs> who's got it what granny's got it laddie's got it fatty's got it happy's got it sappy's got it chorus everybody yeah yeah everybody's got it Come on, <laughs> Jack's got <laughs> Maybe it's more like Jack's got it, Fred's got it, Bob's got it, Dog's got it. Dog is vine. What? Woof, 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 dancing dog. Everybody, what? What is this? We got it, we got it, we got it. Everybody's got it. Favorite adds a playlist. <laughs> so I see it's along with sort of lines of Baby Shark and all those sort of songs, right? D just grant low meisters blog blogs to see. Episode 204. You gotta pump up those numbers, those rookie numbers. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm afraid of dying. I don't see any reason to believe there's an afterlife. I'm an organism like any other. When my brain stops working, my consciousness will cease, and I'll be gone. And you know what? I can't just embrace that. I can't say I'm okay with it, or that I've accepted it, or some nonsense like that. I don't want to have an ending. It terrifies me. If I had a genie right now, I'd wish for immortality. Who wouldn't? Oh, but you wouldn't really want to be immortal, the pseudo-philosophers say. Pretentious drivel! Everybody wants to live forever. Maybe everybody deserves to live forever too, but we can't, so here we are. Live with it. Or rather, don't. You know, I'm kind of fine with just like my life ending when it ends. Hopefully, of natural causes, far in the future, you know? I, I kind of agree with the fact that I don't want to live forever, that's too long. <laughs> I'm going to get seriously bored, you know? The fact that life is fleeting in the first place, I suppose, gives us more motivation and drive to push for things that we would otherwise not be able to necessarily do if we had too much time with it. I made a box flight. Seriously, it was awesome. Number eight. I don't think we've seen a, a message from eight before. Hello. Window through a door. Interesting. So the mechanics probably aren't going to be all that different. Hello. What? You're floating? Oh, you're just up there. There's a song about a window through a door, but I can't think what. QR code. Um, all right. Just got to see what we got around place. Another connector. Get out of here, you. Come on, you. Let's dance. Hmm, okay. Is that it? Not a lot to work with, huh? Two connectors. A window for a door. So this obviously have some sort of significance if we can open it. Um... And presumably, you are here just to be annoying, so we can't do something as simple as this. Or if we can do it, it's going to be time limited. Why did we put that other connector? Did it, Maybe I didn't pick it up? I didn't pick it up. Only one other connector, though. It's very strange. Don't you think? Hmm. So it is enough time to open it, interestingly. Hmm, okay. This one is actually a bit bewildering to me. Hmm. We can open it for a split second. Just a split second. Oh, there's a connector in there. I didn't even realise. Okay, well that, that explains a lot. I was like, how are we going to do this world with only this level with only two connectors? We do this, we grab the connector. What we want to do 
Let me think. Hold on. Hold on. Let me think. We want to... Keep that window open. We want to shine the laser through there. So we get one here, one there, one over there. Okay, now how do we get that done? We need this to stay open. As we set up the laser through here. Now the question becomes, how do we set up a laser through there? That's a very good question. We ideally want it such that the laser that shines through there is the one that simultaneously keeps it open. Oh, you can actually just see it from here. Never mind. That was, that was an easy solution. I, for some reason in my mind, we couldn't see this connector through here. Uh, turns out we can. <laughs> Again, overthinking these puzzles is a very good way to not solve them, I suppose. I thought I set up this up in advance, apparently I didn't. So we do that. Now this can no longer break. We've got a nice little connection set up here. Easy, a nice little warm up to ancient Egypt, which I don't really know much about apart from mummies and I suppose that sort of thing. And this is a long one just to make sure, one, that you're not using, you're getting the ideal solution, the intended solution rather than the alternate path of which little sphere is bouncing back and forth. And we're two blocks away from unlocking a fan, which I assume will come into play in World 2. Or Level 2. I don't know what to call it. I guess this is World B. B2. 2, two B or not 2 B. That is the question. Where is the next level? We haven't really explored much of these stages anymore, and I've got to say... Oh well. <laughs> The hidden dangers in this new world have inexplicably escaped death a number of times. I suggest vigilance. Who knows what happens to those who step carelessly too often? That would be kind of bad if we had limited deaths. So I've died quite a few times already. It's lucky over there doesn't look like there's anything going on. So what we got over here? Third wheel. So we've got a laser, we've got a red receptor. Is that where we need to go? That's so we can get an extra connector to get a blue one. To, to get a button. Okay. This one seems relatively simple, actually. From the outset. There's not much to mess around with. We've got another connector over here. Which I suppose we... Could, hold on. Let's not connect it up yet. We can use two of these to perfectly get around the blue one. Which I'm not sure if it's going to be quite enough because we need to bring one of them through, don't we? But this is a good starting point. Oh, I didn't mean to connect it to that one. What am I doing? That's, that's in fact the exact opposite of what I wanted. So we got this one. It's going to open up a blue one, and then we need to figure out how to make one more of them disappear from the equation. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on, I feel like this angle here will just work, won't it? <laughs> Found that I had a quite, quite an easy solution. <laughs> Is it meant to be like they're like hugging each other over there and this one's just the third wheel, which we put over here? That's kind of sad. <laughs> You're making me empathise with a connector. Or sympathise is probably, I think it's probably a better word. <laughs> it's making me feel bad for it. Or maybe they're just a good friend, you know, load of good friends. Maybe those two are a couple. And the third one's, you know, their, their best friend. Who, who's often been, take paint? Who's often been like, oh yeah, I'm about like environmental puzzles or something. That you can do. This thing. We, we had like a, a button and, and a clock in one of the previous worlds. I don't remember which world that is, but still. Road of Death. Maybe it's just like, yeah, the best friend who always hangs out with them. And they want want them to hang out with them. Oh, my word. So we need to get to the end of this with something. Oh, the cube. One, two, three, four. There's only four, but we've only got one jammer, so that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Ah, 
Um, hmm. I, I assume what we do is we use this. We, we jam you. We sneak in here, grab a cube. And we can't climb ladders with a cube, can we? Can't climb while carrying an item. Okay. It'd be too easy. I assume we use you to blow up one of the cameras. How do we get you to change direction, though? No, we need you to blow up all of them. That can't be right. Can we, like, get these guns to friendly fire on each other? Oh, hello. There's a QR code over here. Epitaph Child Program 72.10023. Code Samsara terminated here. Logic. Program timed out. I need to reevaluate my life. <laughs> that is <laughs> unbelievable. <sighs> Actually, I, I straight up did not see that coming. I did not even think about it. Final memory dump. But I only... I was stuck. What was I supposed to do? I see... I see clouds. Progeny programs Samsara 72.2. Ah, so Samsara just gave up, I suppose. They didn't know what to do. Which is fair enough. That's a big mood. Um... Hmm. Can jammers jam multiple things? I'm not sure what to do. This feels like it's a mechanic it's trying to teach me, but I just don't know what the mechanic is yet. Can we not climb while using this as well? No. Why would why would we have a ladder here? Why would we have a way to bypass all this? Is it as simple as just to see what's going on? Why why have this little orb here? The point of the guns is very evident, I think, is um to make sure we can't get past. Look, uh, what I think we are meant to do is we're meant to destroy one of these guns, jam the other one, and then we can slip underneath the blind spot of these other guns. The question is, how do we get this bomb to destroy one of the guns? Can we angle? Does that work? Can we, like, angle the block? Hold on. Trying to, trying to figure out how to do this. I think we jam this one. How close can we get? Not not that close, it turns out. I'm just trying to think. Okay, is there something I'm missing? Is there a hidden piece of information? This, this screams to me like some new mechanic. Or not new mechanic, it's, um, it's a teaching moment. I just, I just need to figure out what that lesson is. I figured out what that lesson is. <laughs> As it turns out. Um, okay, so you can put things on top of a thing. Which will, I assume, be relevant later. I hope that's far enough. I can't actually tell the depth perception's a bit difficult in a game like this. Nice. <laughs> Oh, just for a split second, I, I saw it appear. I saw the outline of a cube, and I was like, what? Oh, there we go. We've unlocked a fan now. <laughs> okay, interesting. So we can put things on top of whatever they're called. The music is glitching. Hello. Cease. In the time of your ancestors, Cease? there were those who did not choose the path of faith. Was that one of them? You do Samsara. You do not to fear their ghosts. Fear only that you may become like them. Like what? Over a fence of the path of faith. If only, if only I had walked in here. I would have figured out the... Ooh! A solution. Is this what it means by over the fence? That seems very... We, we did it. The cube is unscathed. Ah, I see. <laughs> Before I jump over that, perhaps take this cube over, huh? 
jump here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't want me to put that down. Interesting. Interesting. If only, if only we walked in here. <laughs> I think that's probably intentional. But you're... They expect most people to go to that one first before those two. <laughs> Just a l little bit of a tricksy thing there. I press the terminal over there. I see it. Beep, beep. I'm coming. So uh, those who strayed from the, the faith of in Elohim. I can't say I have too much faith in you, Elohim, but I'm just sort of just like here to do puzzles. And that's as the best you can get. You you provide puzzles as I'm not going to question whatever you're doing, you know. I'm all, I'm all right with not climbing that tower. You run out of puzzles, I'm climbing that tower to find more puzzles. Simple as that. Hello. Is that our friend? Or is it more text? Hello again. I've been checking your response against library archives. And in order to assist you further, I need additional information. Can you tell me what's the important difference between a pebble and a tree? A tree's heavier, a pebble is older, a tree's alive. Sure. Good. Now what's the relevant difference between a tree and a frog? A frog is conscious. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's try something harder. What's the difference between a frog and you? What makes you a person? I have feelings. I'm rational. Nothing important. Frogs are people too. I'm I'm self-aware. Are frogs self-aware? They might be one of the animals which aren't self-aware. But what what are what is self-aware? Monkeys, right? Ah, uh, dolphins, I think are. Frog probably has feelings. I'm rational. I'm self-aware. That's the answer I'm contemplating as well. Checking user dot prof. Done. I'm not convinced if you lines up with the definition of a person you provided earlier. Surely there are people out there who qualify, but are not citizens of some organised state. Still, doubting your assumptions isn't something to fear. It's an intellectual survival instinct. I'm pleased to see you adapting your ideas to your environment. Let us take stock. I think we can tentatively conclude two things. A person must be rational or self-aware. A person must be conscious. What I suggest we do to help resolve your problem is ask whether you are in fact those things. Are you aware of yourself? Can you rationalise your existence? Yes. I tend to agree with you. Though your response so far have been a little eccentric, I'm resigned to admit that you are right. I just have these radical beliefs like, um, humans are self-aware? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with this. But I am a- I have radical beliefs like I am alive. The matter of whether or not you are conscious seems rather more elusive. What is consciousness? Consciousness, in your opinion. So what separates us from animals? No. It's feelings and senses, kind of. Is what it is like to be me. It's far outside my area of expertise. Definitely the most common thing I always say. That hardly answers the question. What is it in ordinary terms? Can I touch it? What is it made of? Made of neurons. It's another word of a soul. It's a complex functional system. It's beyond the laws of physics. Complex functional system. Or beyond the laws of physics. Interesting. Thinking. You know, I really feel like we're making progress. We'll have you through the certification program, program in no time. In the meantime, I'll mull over your proposal and notify you if I come to any conclusions. Terminating library spot mutation. For all mutation and evolution is particularly fascinating. Mutation is essentially an error in organism's central database. A variable gets changed. A piece of information is accidental, accidentally doubled or combined with another. Most of the time the result is the equivalent of a bug, causing anything from minor problems to complete system shutdown, i.e. death. But sometimes new information is functional, giving the organism an advantage against the challenges it faces, in which case it has a much higher chance of being passed to the next generation. I need to have a drink of water, my word. There's a heck of a lot of things to read out. <coughs> Excuse me. If you consider how unlikely a beneficial mutation is and how long it takes for such a mutation to propagate, this process can give you an amazing insight into the vast genetic history of each living organism. Overwrite. Simultaneously, it is intriguing to consider what a major role of random errors have played in the evolution of life itself. The same process that has killed so many of us, often in horrific ways, is also responsible for our very existence. Prove of my existence. Capacity. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, it was not only ridiculously fast, it also has a bazillion tons of space. That's not a valid sentence. Even while hosting a full copy of the archive, it'll totally be able to handle all of your project data's project's data needs. Is this EL? Oh, is this a terminal we're talking to? Assuming its output is as you suggested. I mean, the worst case scenario would be like centuries. That should be enough, right? Right? Emoji. Evolution. Favorited by George Jameson. One of common misunderstandings about evolution, sometimes accidentally promoted by people who should know better, is that it is an active process. Sometimes the term evolve is, an, is even applied to individual beings, as if some invisible force has driven them to suddenly change. But the truth is, individuals don't evolve. Yeah, it's, it's species as a whole evolves because of the natural selection of um, 
quirks, I suppose, which are much more beneficial to the environment. Um, the term evolution describes a long-term process that can be observed in an entire population across time due to mm, example in response to external threat or challenge. If an, individual, if an individual coincidentally has a trait that allows it to deal with more, that challenge more effectively than others, it's more likely to pass on that information to, to its descendants, survival of the fittest. That information gives them an advantage, so over time they become the dominant model of that species. The individuals experience no significant genetic change during their lifetimes, but each of them is part of the evolution of a species. Yeah. It's a gradual building block of every single generation from the next one, and the, the key features being picked out from all of them. So we, we haven't even looked or found the star, part, uh, even potentially the star location in this world, so, hmm. Something about a star. Could the star be in here? <laughs> so we've got a little bumper. We've got a blue laser. We've got this. Something about a star. We've got another bumper. We've got a red laser and a red... Hmm, okay. So we probably need to get a red laser through here. Fair enough. Um. Can we put things on you? No, we can't. If only. That's far too slow. That's far, far too slow. Do you think we could get a blue laser in from another level to do this one? Okay. Or am I overthinking it? We can just do it like this way. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough time. It's, it's literally just enough time. I should have at least tried it, you know. fraction of a second enough time. But now we've we found a star. <laughs> um, it, it's amazing how many coincidental timing things have, have happened in this episode, eh? Okay, so was there a red laser in that world? I don't remember. What was that world? I'm going to sprint across because it's so far away. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I apologise. Look away if it's too sickening. I wouldn't even touch my touchpad, so... Face won't move. Um, the lasers have all reset over here. Excuse me, I'm trying to click on you to connect. So I assume this is where you're meant to properly figure out that you can actually connect lasers through different worlds like that. But here I am, doing it one world early. <laughs> Interesting. There's a, a, a lot of tutorialization going on in this world, isn't there? A lot of um, new concepts being illuminated to us. But this world is now fully done. We'll certainly have to keep an eye out for more stars in the future. Can we also get a rest in peace to Samsara? Who got stuck on the the road of death level. And has not made it to see the rest of a fantastic puzzle world that hopefully are waiting us. Isn't this music really ominous compared to the other world? Nice. I suppose next time we'll be going on to world two, wherever that may be. I suppose we should unlock the fan first, why not? Just ever so quickly. Just get this done. You know, just just bash it out, just like this first try, you know. Don't e don't even think about them where you're putting things. Just just put them down. Or it's not gonna work. Why could this even go? Nowhere. Okay, this is clearly not going to work like that. Perhaps what we need is something more like It's not going to work. So more like this? No, that's not going to work. Um, does this work? Yeah, it works. Nice. We've got a new gadget opened up to us. Use. Reset. I didn't mean to do that. Got a new fan. Ooh, look at that. It's my number one fan. As it descends down into the depths below. Actually, I, I've got to assume World 2 won't be about the fan quite yet because um, that would re require you to get all the previous... um. What's this? Oh, this is a star level. That would require you to get all the previous yellow pieces, which I'm not sure if that's quite how this game works. A lot of hidden levels. Boarded off levels, but we'll see. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. 
I'll be damned. It will. Um, so we'll try that next time. So for now, if you have been watching, thank you very much. For Spin Vitalis Principle, I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares are greatly appreciated. Join me, Dear Darling, Discord, and follow me on Twitter down below. Hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.